Hey everyone, I'm doing a new video series about my weekly video game to-do list quests. So I have this huge list on my computer of just different things to do in video games. There are achievements, trophies, in-game objectives, or sometimes stuff that I just want to do. I try to do one of these a week, so I thought why not make some videos about them. The most recent one of these quests I completed was getting the gold combat shotgun in the multiplayer mode of the video game Call of Duty World War II. This game has really fun multiplayer, so I had a lot of fun along the way. First you need 100 one-shot, one-kill medals with this weapon. Pretty easy since it's a powerful shotgun. Then there are some technical challenges, like 50 kills in the Expeditionary Division, 50 kills in any other division, some revenge medals and I think double kills. Then there's the only actual challenging part. That's right, get 5 kills with this shotgun without dying and then do that 5 times. I'm terrible at Call of Duty multiplayer, so this wasn't going to be easy. At least not too easy. Here's, the, here's my tip for all of the camo challenges on this weapon. Shipment 1944. Shipment 1944 is a multiplayer map in this game. It's a remake of the map Shipment from the Modern Warfare games. I think it was from Modern Warfare, like Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, the first Modern Warfare. But anyway, so... This map, there is a 24-7 playlist, meaning that there's a whole playlist where you click it, you're only going to be playing on this map. And this shipment is a really small map, so uh, close-range weaponry like shotguns are really effective there. So yeah, you just got to play tons of shipment. It's really easy to get all the challenges. But then, for getting the uh, five five-kill streaks, doing that, all I had to do, I just kept going super try-hard on this map, and I just finally managed to get it. It wasn't easy, and there was a lot of frustrating points where you're at like 4 and then you die, but hey, that's okay. Right now is a great time to play Call of Duty World War II's multiplayer. There seems to be permanent double XP, double weapon XP, and double division XP. You've got the shipment playlist, which is just tons of fun to play on shipment. They also have the this system where if you just grind up a bunch of armory credits, you can buy all these collections, and when you finish these collections, you get DLC weapons. So yeah, it's a good time to play this game. Yeah, it's a little annoying that you can't just do challenges to get the weapons like you could in, you know, the current Call of Duty game, Modern Warfare. Anyway, now that I've told you a little bit about the journey, we're going to take a look at the camo, and I'll give you a little review of the weapon. So yeah, it's a powerful shotgun. Like I said, you can get one shot, one kills pretty easily. It's got a reasonable reload speed, and it's really effective in close quarters. That's what I'm going to tell you. I mean, I find it very useful. It's one of the first guns you unlock. In fact, it might be unlocked by default, like it's never locked by any levels or anything. But I'm not sure on that. But anyway, I had a ton of fun using it. And fun fact, there is an attachment that lets you shoot fire out of this shotgun, similar to the Mog 12 in Black Ops 4 and the Model 680 and VLK Rogue shotguns in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. But I've never used this fire attachment because I think it irritates the other players and I don't want to be unsportsmanlike. Alright, so that's it for the Gold Combat Shotgun Quest video. The quest I'm going to be working on this week is getting the trophy for trying the photo mode in Uncharted Drake's Fortune Remastered. And I'm also going to try to beat the first mission on hard mode. Because if I'm ever going to get that, like, complete the campaign on hard, I'll have to, you know, start chipping away at that. So that's it for this video. Thanks for checking it out. Feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.